Honorable Mike, you don't sit in Parliament, so you you might be lucky to have an, an independent, objective view <laughs> if your political position allows you. But then again, when you look at that, is this how you should be making laws, really? And what must happen now at the Senate? Because there are fewer yes. They'll yeah. vote by delegation because there are 47 delegations. What must we see? Yeah. You know, some... Uh I, I have a completely different view on, on this bill. I actually call it the Azimio bill. Mm. Because, you know, some lack of planning on your side should not constitute an emergency on my side. We know this country typically people run for elections on coalitions. Why is this bill coming now under eight months to the election. Why didn't it start three or four years ago? So that by the time now is coming, all these electoral issues have been solved. So for me, I think it's very unfortunate that we are using coalition building to, as a priority in Kenya today. You know, you said I don't sit in parliament. It was in parliament some. This is what I'd be talking about. Yeah? The headlines in the Daily Nation, more Kenyans sink into poverty. While we have MPs who are representatives of the people going to talk about how can our political parties get money? How can our leaders get seats through coalitions? How can we make sure that the people who are big in this country even become bigger? While we have two things that are completely killing our Kenyans today. We have a global pandemic that has killed more people health-wise in this country than we have seen in a long time. Instead of legislating on how the national uh, government through the Ministry of Health should have enough vaccinations for every single Kenyan so that our Kenyans are safe, you're going to look for more money for your political parties. I mean, more Kenyans are sinking into poverty, Kenya National Bureau of Stat Standards. Highest uh, cost of living is highest than it has ever been since independence. And what we are thinking about is how do we form a coalition so that somebody can become a president, another person a deputy president, another person a speaker, another person a prime minister, and I mean, some. I, I think, that, I think it's completely, completely, completely wrong. Margaret, yes, that's what the bill is yes. about. Yes, when I look at this bill, because you know, there's the spirit and the letter of the law. When I look at this bill and the way it's being pushed down our throats by one part of the political divide, it's just because they've realized that UDA as a political party has gone around the country and built one big inclusive political party. Inclusive political party. And the only way they can compete is by ensuring that they cobble together many small parties into coalitions to come up with the numbers. You know, Honorable Gladys Wanga, UDA is less than a year old. We've registered more than three million members. More than three million members. In Kitui alone, we've registered 110,000 members for UDA. More than any other political party in the county of Kitui. So UDA is a real threat and our competitors are trying as much as possible using all sorts of unorthodox means parliament, intimidation, to ensure that they stall the political progression of UDA. And that's what this bill is about. That's why this bill is about saying, mm -hmm. these other guys, they have first of all no agenda, they have no party, they have no candidate. So they are saying now, since we have no party and we are late, why don't we shorten the time of I'm building a coalition yes. from six months S to 120 said. days because Hatuja Jipanga. I'm interested in something you said that you've registered 110,000 members uh, into UDA in Kitui yes. County. Yes. And I'm wondering, did they belong to other political parties? Because I think it takes a process to transfer. Some were new and uh -huh. some were moved from political parties. And what happens is you sign a resignation and you sign an application at the same time. You attach your Has ID that been card. by the registrar? Yes, you put it into the party portal and it's sent to the registrar and that's affected. That's what I'm asking. Yes. Has it been affected? Uh, that I am not sure, but we have the data uh -huh. of all the people who resigned because they had to sign a resignation form and then they had to sign Mm -hmm. an application form the, for the reason I'm asking this question is because their IDs and their if the bill is enacted as it is then a certified register of members must be released to political parties after an application 21 days to the nominations which should be the nominations according to ABC should be on from 16th of April so we're talking about the final week of March so yes. 
how will how easy will it be to get a certified register so that you can conduct party nominations based on members of a party based on a certified register? Why we've been able to register that many members is because as people were going around the country uh, campaigning for things like BBI, mm -hmm. UDA was on the ground no, no, building I, I, a grassroots. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm right, not asking about that. I'm asking, I'm, about I'm the asking how that. Certified register. Yes, then I'm telling you mm -hmm. how we're able to do it. Yeah, we were on the ground building a political party and doing member registration drives, not rallies, member registration drives. So we used technology, and that's why we were so successful from May last year is when we started and the process is ongoing and we used technology to be able to go in electronically mm -hmm. uh, register people and it goes straight into a portal that okay. is run from the UDA secretariat All right. here in Nairobi. I, I, th I think that's a matter you have to take up with the yeah. secretary Let general. Me. No, yes. this one actually. Yeah, I'm 